Hello, my love. It's Nicole Charnel here. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, today we are changing our environment to help change our lifestyle. But first, if you're new here, welcome. I do videos on healthy intentional living and that is just living your healthy life with intention. So this video is a little bit of my minimalism and lifestyle put together. I am a minimalist and I do live a minimal lifestyle when it comes to the things I have around me, the things I consume, as well as the things that I put out around me. I read the book Atomic Habits or I listened to the book Atomic Habits and part of the book, it says that you have to change your environment to help create create good habits and to help keep your good habits flowing. So that is what I'm going to do today. I am a minimalist and I've been in my minimalist journey for about three years. Basically, I had to confine my space to one room because I got a divorce and I moved in with my parents. So because I did, uh, because I had to do that, it allowed me to kind of really just kickstart my minimalist journey. I'm just really in the maintaining phase of being a minimalist and I really need to change my environment up just a little bit. I am in a good place of with my items in my room and stuff like that however I just want to call it down a little bit more because what I'm realizing is I'm happier when the counters or the surfaces of my room are clear so that includes my makeup table that includes my desk that includes my dresser that includes my bed any surface it makes me so much better it makes me feel so much better and be more productive and be more present and be more focused if the area is clear so that is what we're going to do today. We are going to change our environment to change our life. Uh, all right, so the main area is actually my desk area, which is over here to the side. I'll show you in a second. And I just need to find a place for the items on the desk um, that makes sense, that uh, I'm still going to use and still make sense and all that. And I just really need to just put the stuff away. Um, and then of course, I also have some laundry and a little bit of decluttering to do around my room, uh, which we are going to do together. I do have like a, re a weekly reset system where I declutter my space every single week, just getting rid of items that I don't need, getting rid of items that don't have a place, um, finding them a place or just get rid of getting rid of them if I don't need them. So um, yeah, I'm just going to do that process right now. I'm going to do that first and then we're going to tackle the desk. It's really not a big desk. It's really not a big space, but I do need to make some decisions on the space period. And that is all a part of changing the environment so I can change my life, change my mindset, change how I look at the, look at the space, how I can create and keep my good habits, all of that. First of all, if you haven't, also, if you haven't read the book Atomic Habits and you want to make good habits, check out the book. So good. And it just really gives you actual tangible things that you can do in your life to change your lifestyle and, and be where you want to be. So check it out. Anyway, so let's declutter real fast. Um, am I going to do the laundry? Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and fold my laundry first as well. And then we can do the desk. Let's go.
Okay, so this is the desk area. Over here is the desk that I really can't utilize because of the amount of things on the desk. So I need to assess those things, get them out of there, give them a home. And then the corner here is um, like storage. So I have my reference files back there. I have, this is like my self-care box where I keep like items for self-care, like bath bomb, bath, yeah, bath bombs and bath soap and stuff like that. Um, also like stuff for my nails and stuff like that. If I do my own pedicure or something like that, that's all in there. And then in the back are like more um, computer supplies. So like paper extra things like that that I have to go in and need if I have to print something and stuff like that so I need to reorganize this area and I need to get this clear so let's go ahead and do that Okay, I think I did it. This is the space. So I have an area for my computer, which is great because right now I usually do my computer work in the bed. Um, and I want to change that just a little bit, just a change of space. So here is the laptop. And then this is also a Mac computer here. Um, and I do still use this, but I need to really just clear it off um, so I can use it more readily because right now it's just moving super slow. So I just need to do some clearing. And then now this is this area. Let me just actually move this one thing in the back. So this area now is complete as well. Um, we have, this area is complete as well. So we have in the corner, like basically filming items. So like my extra tripod is in there, some items like that. Here I have a laptop bag. Here I have like stickers for my journaling. Um, and there is my self-care box. And then there is my reference box. I might change this setup though, just because I want my reference box to be something that I can get into easily. And right now with stuff on top of it, it is not. So I might need to change that. But overall, this is pretty much complete. Oh, and then this is my actual in tray for the items that I need to look over, like paper items that I need to look over, mail and things like that. Okay, so changing my environment has been completed. Like I said, the point of this was to just change up my space, um, get it more clear because I've noticed that it being clear just makes me feel happier, makes me feel more productive, makes me feel like I can be more productive because I don't have a clutter everywhere. And also it can change up where I do my work. So now I can actually utilize my desk with my computer or my laptop on it um, instead of other things taking up that space. And now because of that, I know, okay, when I sit down on this desk, I'm in work mode. When I get in the bed, I'm 
I'm in chill mode, stuff like that. So differentiating your spaces and making them clear for the, for the tasks that you want to do in that space or the habits you want to create in that space basically promotes good habits and promotes you keeping that good habit. The more clear I keep my room, the happier I will be and then I will want to keep it more clear, which will just be an endless cycle of just decluttering and having less clutter and being a minimalist and achieving my goals ultimately. So that is it for this video. I hope you really enjoyed. And if you're considering changing your environment to help you change your lifestyle, once again, I would recommend the book, Atomic Habits, help you create a good habit. Also recommend the book, The 12 Week Year, especially if you're trying to reach certain goals, um, that will help you with the actual goal setting and achieving portion. But the Atomic Habits is basically about re, thinking the way you do life, you know, being able to create good habits and rethinking how you do them, your current habits now and how you can change them. Um, if you want to know more about this book, I'm sure I'll be doing more videos on it. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. You can do so by hitting my face down below and also check out other videos from me linked on the screen. Thanks for watching this video guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!